For the treatment of candidiasis, infections caused by invasive candida species, fluconazole is usually the go-to antifungal agent. However, the emergence of fluconazole-resistant pathogenic candida isolates has highlighted the need for early detection of fluconazole resistance, FR, that can help in optimizing the treatment for candidiasis. To this end, a group of researchers from Korea assessed the suitability of disk diffusion susceptibility testing, DDT, a simple and low-cost technique. They conducted the study using standard and large-size inoculum of 188 isolates from the four most common invasive candida species, C. albicans, C. glabrata, C. parasilosis, and C. tropicalis. They observed that for more than 95% of the isolates, the DDT results for the standard inoculum were readable after 14 hours for C. albicans, C. glabrata, and C. tropicalis, and 20 hours for C. parasilosis. For the large inoculum, the results were readable after 12 hours for C. glabrata and C. tropicalis, 14 hours for C. albicans, and 16 hours for C. parasilosis. They also found that the first readable results from the DDT method for standard and large inoculum of C. albicans, C. glabrata, C. parasilosis, and C. tropicalis showed an agreement of 97.0%, 98.6%, 72.4%, 91.7%, and 100%, 98.6%, 96.6%, 95.8% respectively. Thus, the results suggested that increasing the size of the inoculum shortened the incubation times for DDT and led to reliable detection of FR in the four most common candida species.